Welcome to Little Italy in Baltimore. I'm in Little Italy in Baltimore at the bocce ball courts. The thing about Little Italy in Baltimore is that it's only a few blocks long by a couple blocks wide, but in that small area is packed with Italian culture. Directly across the street from Little Italy is the Star Spangled Banner House, which is right behind me. And this is where, in 1814, Mary Pickersgill sewed the U.S. American flag, also known as the Star Spangled Banner. And this flag, this very flag, was flown at Fort McHenry, which Fort McHenry, if you don't know, is directly across the harbor over here. And during that time is when Francis Scott Key wrote the national anthem for the United States. So this house right here is where that all took place. So this big sucker of a building behind me is called the Baltimore Shot Tower, also known as the Phoenix Shot Tower. I don't know why it has two names, but anyway, the things that you need to know about this are it is 234 feet tall, was built in 1828, and it's located right at the end of Interstate 83 South, so when you're coming into Baltimore, you won't miss it. This is called the Charm City Circulator. It's a free bus in Baltimore. You can get to a lot of places with it. I highly recommend it. So right now we're heading over to Mount Vernon. It's maybe like three quarters of a mile from the shot tower down there. So this here behind me is the Washington Monument. It looks like it's open right now, so let's see if we can go in. So hopefully you can see me. I have decided to climb the George Washington Monument in Baltimore. 227 steps. Here we go. Washington Monument in Baltimore and this is pretty much the heart of Mount Vernon which is a, a neighborhood in Baltimore and like I pointed out we have a couple different places of interest around here such as the Peabody and the Walters and we're gonna go check those guys out and more right now so this building right here behind me is the Peabody Institute and unfortunately since today is Sunday we cannot get inside to see the magnificent library that they have in there. All you have to know is this place is really cool inside. It's affiliated with Johns Hopkins University so they train lots of classical musicians here and have something like 150 concerts every year right here. Alright we're just going to head down the street here to the Walters Art Museum. All right, so right behind me, we got the Walters Art Museum. We're gonna go inside real quick, see if we can find anything cool in there. The Walters is like the art museum in Baltimore, and the good thing about it, it's free entry, so anybody can go. So that was the Walters Art Museum. We're gonna go see the Baltimore Basilica right now.
directly behind me is the Baltimore Basilica, and this is actually America's first Roman Catholic cathedral. So we're gonna see if we can get in there, but before we do that, across the street is the Enoch Pratt Free Library, and as the name states, it is a free library in Baltimore. So I'm here down at the basement of the Baltimore Basilica, which is actually called a crypt. And this is kind of an, I wouldn't say an afterthought, but it was an issue back in the day when they built it on top of sand and actually the whole church itself, the whole cathedral itself started to sink. So as recently as 2006, they had to redesign this whole area down here and these support beams behind me on the other side, that is what's supporting the entire church and it's no longer built on top of sand. They did enough of construction to keep it steady so it's not gonna sink anymore. I just wanna also talk about the architect responsible for this and his name was Latrobe. So Latrobe is the architect who actually designed the Thomas Jefferson Memorial and the White House. That was a very nice church, very modern. So Latrobe, I mentioned Latrobe in the basement of the cathedral. This is the Latrobe house where uh, the architect actually met with Edgar Allan Poe and that's actually where we're going to next, Edgar Allan Poe's house. So we're actually gonna make a quick stop at Lexington Market, which I've never been there either. So that's on the way to Edgar Allan Poe's house. As the sign reads behind me, this is the world famous Lexington Farmer's Market. It's not too far from Mount Vernon, so just a few blocks away. Unfortunately, they're closed right now, as like it seems everything else, but uh, it's definitely a place to check out. I'm really hoping that this rain cloud directly above me doesn't get me wet. <laughs> behind me is where Edgar Allan Poe lived for a number of years in the 1800s. Uh, he lived with some of his relatives like his grandmother, aunts, and cousins and it seems like this is where he lived when he went from writing poetry and then began writing fiction. Unfortunately they close in like five minutes so I don't have enough time to go inside and show you and this impending storm is not looking good either so I'm gonna start heading back. So I literally passed Edgar Allan Poe's grave site twice, once on the way from Lexington Market to his house and once on the way back. But we finally made it and we're gonna go check it out right now. So this is Edgar Allan Poe's grave and where he's laid to rest. So actually I was wrong, that's not his grave, that's just a monument. Um, the actual grave is down here, so we're gonna go see that. I gotta, you hear that thunder? That means I gotta go. Fine, found it. Found it, Edgar Allan Poe. All right, let's get the heck out of here. It's gonna storm. So that's all the tour time we have for today. We got to most of the places that we wanted to. Unfortunately, because of this rain, we gotta head back home, but I'll do a wrap up when I get back there and we'll finish this video out then. I swear to God, every street corner in Baltimore smells like weed. Clouds can try, but they just can't catch me. So two minutes after I walk in my door, uh, this starts happening. Big, big raindrop. I'm guessing in like two to five minutes, when this cloud gets above us, it's gonna pour. So we'll check it out. So yeah. Other than that, I just wanted to say that we made it to pretty much all the places that we wanted to go to. The only two that we didn't make it to are Babe Ruth Birthplace and Museum, and the B&O Railroad Museum, both of which I've never been to, and I will check out one day. But unfortunately, we didn't have time to today because of... Yeah. 
because of that. And as you can see, there's a lot more to Baltimore than just the tourist traps that exist around the Inner Harbor. So with that being said, I hope you guys subscribe and come visit Baltimore. See you later.